Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Um, I'm having so much fun. We just did a collaboration with my good friends, Nate Bright and Brian Zaglarski from Studio 15 Acrylics and Kelly from Feral Art. And we all did that really fun, cool chaos ribbon swipe. And uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And I wanna play with something that I saw Nate do with, instead of wrecking it with my skewer, I'm gonna wreck it with my marble. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm using pretty much the same color palette. So <laughs> this should be good, I hope. This is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the pin in the back and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors. Let me show you the colors because they're very pretty. This is pretty much the same palette I had last time, maybe one or two variations. These are actually leftovers that I added a little bit of pouring medium to and a little bit of water where necessary and we're good to go. So I just kept them covered and they were fine. This one is Golden's Turquoise Thalo, gorgeous. This one is Golden's Green Gold, but I have added a little bit of that pearl yellow. I had a little bit left over. This one seems a smidge thick, but I think it'll be all right. So that's Green Gold and the pearl yellow. We'll see what happens with that, should be interesting. I have that really cool color that I fell in love with, the uh, Prussian Blue with a little bit of dioxazine purple in it, which gave us this gorgeous, really bluey violet that I love. So excited about that one. My 24 karat gold from Decorate Americana Decor Metallics. Okay. And this one was the Folk Art Treasure Gold series in Aquamarine. And I added just a touch of the emerald green from Deco Art to it. And it made it a tiny bit greener, which I love. It's so pretty. And last but not least, we have Titanium White from Amsterdam with a little bit of the Deco Art from Satin Enamels, pure white in there. And I had added a little bit more water to this one than everything else because I want to see if we can't get that poofy, cloudy look. So this should be fun. I have a tub of white here, titanium white from Amsterdam to use as our base coat. So we're going to pour this out and we're going to do that same chaos ribbon thing. <laughs> Okay, now I'm not gonna spread it out. I'm actually gonna keep it thick like that. All right, and for our lines, I think I liked that, um, the two rows that I did. So I think we're gonna do that same thing. They're gonna be skinnier this time because we still do want negative space. Okay, and we might do more than one layer some of them. Again, I'm going to use that same Liquitex, what was it, 1099. This is the large knife number 15 from Liquitex Freestyle. You can get these at Fluid Art Co. Really fun. I have that same um, Vaxazine Purple Cell Activator. That's the Australian Floetrol. I just had a piece of press and seal on top of my cup, and it's fine. Let's get a stick and stir it up just to make sure. Yeah, still nice and thin. Okay, let me move these. Let's get our cell activator on the spatula. Now 
And Brian Siglarski has been doing these videos about using shorter swipes so that you keep the color more concentrated. I like that. I also kind of like how it blends a little bit. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that's really pretty. Hello, hello. So see, this is what I mean by the blending. I kind of like that a little bit. So, all right, let's get a paper towel. I'm gonna wipe this off. And I'll do that again. A bit of cell activator. Okay, all right. <laughs> Look at this, is how pretty this is. <laughs> Happy accident. Yeah, but it's not going to stay though, I know that unfortunately. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. We're going to take our golf ball, because I like the golf balls. Um, you could also use a marble. If you're looking for marbles, look on Amazon. You can look under shooters, marble shooters. Those are the bigger ones. But something with some weight, like you don't want a ping pong ball. All right, let's see. Let's go for it. We're gonna start over here, HOA. Okay. I'm not even gonna spread it out. Here we go. Pretty. I'm not gonna. I'm, my, I am stressing about these more solid bits, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything about them. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. Let's tilt this out. I like it. Um, 
Do you think there's too much negative space white in some of those periods, like in there and there? Yeah, it kind of looks like a Salvador Dali over easy egg. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think I should do about it? Should I try to dig some of that white off? Over here I can. If I do it over here, I'm either gonna lose this or this, and I don't wanna lose either one of those. So can I could run, get the marble back through can here can again. Can you run the ball through it again? Yeah. Should I take this off the edge? Or is all, oh, this is really super cool though. Yeah, then don't do that. There's still kind of a lot of paint on there, though. Let's see if we can get just a little choices, bit. Choices, choices. Yeah. See if we can't get some of that white off. through it again. I mean, I do, but I don't. line and break up this section that I'm not crazy about being so solid. Okay. Yep. Do you think this could use another pass or that's cool now? No, I like it. I'll leave it. Okay. Let's give this a torch real quick. <clears throat> okay. This is looking really cool. I love these colors together. And I really like the marble. I like how it kept the softness and that swoopiness. One of the things that I'm not crazy about when you wreck things is when you stretch it out, sometimes one part gets a little distorted and they start to look like, I don't know, bear claws <laughs> scratching the canvas, which I don't like. So I like this softer, more flowing line. This is cool, I like this. I love these cells in here are really, really pretty with the dioxazine purple lacing. This is cool. It's cool. There's a little bit more blending here, but that's okay. This part's really pretty with like, there's like blue lacing in there. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, neat. Um, I'm not going to touch it anymore. <laughs> I will show you guys this one. It's once dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I appreciate all of you so much. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. And also check us out on uh, Facebook and on Instagram at Mina Villegas Art. Um, I will be teaching at PORCON in Las Vegas on August 6th through 9th of 2023. Please check out that website is www.porcon.com. Alrighty then, we'll see you when it's dry. Okay, so the one we painted today is not dry yet, but I will show it to you. <laughs> but this is Gaia's Dream. This is from the last video we did where we did that same chaos ribbon swipe, but we wrecked it with a skewer. This one turned out so pretty. I just got it. the cell structure in here is just so beautiful. And like right in here where you get those gradients of color. It's just beautiful stuff. 
love all these cells. It's really, really fun. Like, dude, that's so pretty. This whole section. So, this one was really, really fun. This was the 24 by 30. This is Gaia's Dream. This was the mini collab that we did with Nate Bright and Brian Zaglarski from Studio 15 and Feral Art, which was a lot of fun. I really like this piece a lot. So, let me go inside and I will show you the other one <laughs> that we did today. Okay. So this is the 15 by 30 that we did that chaos bloom or quick chaos ribbon swipe, but we used the golf ball to wreck it this time. This looks so cool. I love this section there. Look at those cells. It's just awesome. All those different colors. Just beautiful stuff. And in here, I love that. Looks like a heart right there. <laughs> Bitches, look how cool those look. With that beautiful dark diaxazine purple in between. Really pretty. So I'm real happy with this one. Like I said, I love this technique. It's so much fun. The chaos ribbon swipe. I hope you guys give it a try and uh, tag me in your pictures. I'd love to see. This was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. We'll see you real soon. Bye bye.